All right, so today is the, uh, the 5th of May, and we finally have workers back aboard. Uh, we had them come about about 7.15 in the morning, uh, maybe about 10 or 10, 10 or 10 of them or so. Uh, right now they're just inspecting work areas, uh, scaffolding, uh, ventilation, the like. They tell us that they will come back with a small party of about 20 or 30 tomorrow. Normally they have 500 people, which is very fun. Work is resumed. And that is very good news, but we're going to see how long it takes 20 people to do an entire shipyard's worth of work. COVID testing is continuing as per government orders, so some mornings the shipyard comes and tests us, some mornings we do our own self-tests, but every morning we do a COVID test now. And I have to fill in the gaps with some wells. My name is Brendan Brady, I'm the third engineer. My job consists of generator maintenance, pumping bilges, MSD maintenance, air compressor maintenance uh, in the shipyard. I'll get a daily task in the morning from the first, but usually that completely goes to shit. It's horribly ugly, but now we clean it up. And we end up having to make adjustments to the plant depending on what the shipyard wants to do. And that usually throws off that day's plans and then ends up never getting done. Hi, I'm Randy. The junior in the ship. Generally, my job is under the first engineer description, whatever job order you have. Well, when the ship is underway, my daily routine is take soundings like this beauty, bits, build holding tank, etc. Then some check oil level of the air compressors, the generators, and then when the ship is entering and leaving the port, I am part of the maneuvering team to assist the engineers. But since we are at shipyard, there is a little bit difference because some jobs are need more manpower to do the work done safely. So hope and praying that within a couple of days from now, we get the hell out of here. So be patient folks, shipyard will free us soon. Our sentence for more than 100 days is good enough to redeem our hard work, boredness, and loneliness. Be safe everyone and take care. Bye bye and God bless us all. We're going home soon. Every day, the Chinese workers are required to COVID test before they get on the vessel to start work in the morning and then at lunchtime as well. 14, 23, number eight. Hello, my name is Daniel Barone and I'm the second engineer. I'm in charge of all the fuel oil around here and all this stuff that keeps the fuel oil clean. So what we have here is the generator automatic back flush filter. And I've removed it because the piece of shit hasn't worked since I've been here. So it's going to the shop for a tune-up. 
and then an attitude adjustment. So here we go. We got it up there. We got it hauled out the door, and we're we're set to go. My name is Stephen Villa. I'm a rotary electrician here. Now I'm doing the anti-explosive light lighting fixture. That lighting fixture is installed to those dangerous cargo. So to make sure gas probes, nobody can get in as uh, explosive gas inside the lab. This company requires that the second mates also be the medical officers on board, so part of that entails testing oxygen bottles in case they need to be used in an emergency situation. I'm going to try to line it up and uh, Alright, don't worry. I really don't know what I'm doing here, but we got to cut each other's hair if you want a haircut. It's all falling out anyway. Basically all the way to about there, nice and short. trying to make it work. I don't want to feel as bad as I did the last haircut I gave. Overtime pretty mandatory for you guys. We can work Monday through Friday and take Saturday and Sunday off if it wants to. But why come out here and I can make as much money as you can. Everybody but me is limited to two hours of overtime a day because I don't stand duty and get the uh, penalty for being on duty for Well, I got my first one thinking it would grow out by the time I get home. But it's clear that I got plenty of time to grow out another one, so it's back down to zero. Hi, Kim. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Danny. We'll get out of here sometime. We're going to get this all, all cleaned up because you use less shampoo with short hair. Besides, the Chinese don't like it and they work faster when they see me come. Get a real job. Got a real job. I want something to make my ancestors proud. Oh yeah, you're good to go. filter actually work. Just back and forth. I see some damage here. The only way to fix that kind of damage is tungsten inert gas plug and TIG plug. Little piece of tungsten. Little piece of tungsten and a shielding gas of argon makes the second well very fine stuff. So I'm going to repair this damage using the TIG plug a bottle of argon. It's an inert gas, so it pushes away all the oxygen and nitrogen in the air and makes the shield around the well. It has a foot paddle like the car. If you're smart when you try to weld something, you always try something that's not a foot hurt. You like the glasses? We can't get any more glasses. My duties have changed a lot since I've been on here. I've been taking all kinds of things apart, trying to get things that haven't worked in a long time to work again, and just running around like a like a madman supporting the shipyard workers. Smooth off. Okay, right here. Right, get in, in position and pulling these little divots. As second engineer on a container ship burning over 100 tons of fuel all day. I got the carbon footprint of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but taking in, in consideration how much it would cost to drive trucks carrying the same cargo, it's the most efficient way to move it. Brendan, what did you just admit to? I don't mind Hills Bros coffee. Oh. And I'm not afraid to say it anymore. I didn't mind it. He doesn't fucking mind. Is that Hills, Hills Bros, Bros Coffee. Yeah. Fucking Christ. What do we have here, Dan? This is all my glasses. Every 
going through them like normal people go through toilet paper. Oh, broken. Gotta be repaired because I can't get more. Without my glasses, I am useless. My glasses are useless without me. Shipyard's cutting off our cooling line for the generator, so we're having a ship blackout right now. They're all on the dock eating right now. Nobody's paying attention. Dark we go. There was a guy by the generator and then there was a guy up by the uh control room. I got the immediate is not starting. The electrician Steve, Chief. Yeah, can you come to the emergency generator room, please? You have a light? They shut off the cooling water for the generator unexpectedly. We don't know. It was unexpected. They just fucking shut it off. They're blaming it on a broken hose. You good, Eddie? Fucking twats. I'm Eddie Coloma and one of the wiper here. We are just simply cleaning the engine room. I've been on this uh, kind of job since 2015. So fun, you're so fun, you blow my mind. Hey, poo poo. Hey, poo poo. Intercourse. 
blue ball gap and bird in hand. This is what Dan does when he can't when watch any movies. Dookie rain every now and then you got a little dookie on your window and it's all over. My name is Jelani Handy and I'm a wiper. I don't really like it that much. Mainly clean, paint. That's really like all you really do, honestly. I remember when I was doing a, I was doing an internship at school and I was like my first like to get my first kind of job. I was a mentor for like after school program for like sixth graders. So yeah, that was my this is like my first real job doing. And what I like about this job is always like I'm like a hands-on person building stuff and stuff like that. So when I see the engineers doing stuff, you know, I want to do stuff like that also. You know, hopefully one day I can do something like that because it's interesting to me. Um, in high school, I wanted to go to school for mechanical engineering. But, you know, that never happened. <laughs> well, I mean, this is just, you know, another way to go about it. Yeah. Tons of people go about it this way. My name's Giancarlo Tome. I'm one of the a ABs on here. My job at Shipyard, who knows, basically whatever the fuck they want and what, whenever they say. Always have to be diligent and do everything we can to mitigate any risk and do everything as safely and efficiently as possible. A, a big project we did in the shipyard was uh, opening and closing these big manholes. So we have multiple tanks that are about a quarter to half inch thick of steel that are, some of them are some, you know, as big as a house. There are a lot of things out here that can't kill you and that are trying to kill you. And what they do is they have to pressure test them to make sure they're good to see. Job now. Because the former uh, reaper has been sick, so now I'm going to take over his job. So now I'm an electrician, doing a uh, routine electrician, like uh, everything's about electrical and electronics. Doing the maintenance, like connecting the motors, the switchboard. Everybody's getting uh, grabbing me, doing go north, south, east, west, just to get some power, like uh, lights. My additional job is uh, uh, running the aircon as a reefer and electrician. It's a little bit harder, but if you know you know already what you're doing, it's enjoyable. something and the PCR testers finally decided to arrive today. PCR test, huh? Ernie! <laughs> Ernie! Myself. 
ago a guy named Velko Petrovic uh, contacted me on Instagram and they were just behind the Dimfna back there um, and so he started following us from the Restricted to Ship series. Um, they, they actually moved over to just across from us yesterday and so today we coordinated a little bridge wing wave session which was super sweet. I forget what the fuck else I do. Um, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Um, what, what's changed? I cannot say 100% because the schedule's always been subject to change. But as long everybody's okay, I'm okay too. Hi, love. My wife, my son, Joseph, Lorelai, my daughter. I'm here. I'm okay. I'm still alive. What are those things called? What do I do when I normally sail? <laughs>